there's this discourse going on right now about how if LSU wins, it's just this is now the future with NIL and, and LSU is winning this only be like that kind of stuff where you better pay the most or else you can't win anymore, which I would love for people to point me to an era of college sports where the teams that spent the most and made the most didn't win the most. Uh, just generally speaking, what era of college sports did that happen? Because I would love to know it was before I was born. But LSU winning a championship, a program that has been to the College World Series, if I counted correctly, 19 times, and has previously won six national championships, winning a seventh is not a sign that the sport is broken. I, I, I don't understand how LSU, of all programs, that has been what they've been for as long as they've been winning a championship, that's the sign that the sport is broken. I understand that Skeens is a guy that was paid for. And I understand understand that Tommy Tanks is a guy that was paid for. I get it. But they've got six national championships before they bought Paul Skeens and Tommy Tanks. I, I just, I fail to agree with that reasoning. When everybody's doing it, right? I mean, yeah. Hurston Waldrop pitched for Florida. Why is nobody complaining about Florida? Where where did he come from? An objectively very, very good program that develops pitchers, and he still left. I think it's, well, it's got to be just because, like, the worst kept secret is how much money LSU spent in the transfer portal. But, Is that really any different than what we've said about every power program in every sport? No. Alabama and Georgia and big schools were going to Ohio State, Michigan, whomever, were going to, they were going to stay on top because they were going to invest what it took to stay on top. And they had a head start. You think LSU baseball was going to sit by and, watch other teams build their rosters and have that passionate fan base go, well, we're just going to, we're not really going to do it that way. Of course not. I mean, this is, and I actually said this on Twitter. In college sports recently, it got exposed that shoe companies have been for decades steering players to the big brands in college basketball. Was that fair? Look at the BCS in the college football playoff era and and find where the competitive balance is. I don't know if it's just the exposure of it it is making people uncomfortable, but if you think that this is new, I've got some oceanfront property in Arizona to sell you, man. This is not new. LSU paying their... uh, Vanderbilt has been able to get more players than everybody else because of an inherent built-in advantage. I mean, even baseball hasn't been "quote unquote" innocent this whole time. Arkansas has had scholarship advantages over Ole Miss and Mississippi State and Southern Miss. So baseball is literally set up for imbalance. But Paul Skeens and Tommy Tanks now suddenly makes you outraged about imbalance. I, and, I don't know. And that's your herd who's starting tonight. Sure. Say it a little more. But I mean. Vanderbilt and Arkansas and Texas have been able to give more than Ole Miss and State for years, years and years and years, and LSU more for years and years. Baseball has been built to be imbalanced. It was, it's in the design of the sport. 